Okay. All right, back into it. But before we take on the next mission, here we go. Good man, Hioma left on a patrol mission. Koji and Hioma left on a patrol mission. Do I need to check every region for those every single time? That's a bit much. Though they don't seem to be appearing in any other region. I can't go anywhere else because they don't have missions, but Earth Sphere. Solar System? I didn't realize I can look at this yet. Huh. All right. Let's see. This is the next estimated strength. Still no on boards. Shiro, find hostile forces. Mm hmm. This one's supposed to be tough. But Tetsu and Shiro. And Ryoma's here. Mm -hmm. The 3G are here. We need to do them all eventually. Uh, let's go this way. Let, let's actually do it in like order of power. Reverse order, I should say. Otherworld forces? That's the name we've given the unidentified seemingly otherworldly forces currently established from a sphere of influence centered on Oceana. Uh, from the conditions surrounding their appearance, we are currently operating on an assumption that they emerged from the Blue Hole. The Blue Hole. A mysterious dimensional anomaly that appeared in the Pacific Ocean one day is so much as a hint of warning. The world's deep the whole world's deep enough in trouble that most people just try to ignore the thing. It's kind of freaky how it just showed up one day. As noted, the Otherworld forces are deploying large formations across their new sphere of influence. Uh, and they've already come into conflict with local EFF units. Wait a moment! If we're so certain these units' forces are otherworldly, does that mean... Yes, we believe it connects to, quite literally, another world. Can something like that even exist? Masaki's over there in the corner. Hi guys, remember me? A whole other plane being with unique cultures of life forms considered impossible by the standards of known science. Places like that appeared in legend and folklore since dawn of human sapiens. Who ever thought to be invaded by one? What kind of units? Well, fluff enough, at the very beginning of the game, it asked us if we wanted to do the Earth route or the, or the space route, and it gave us a hint of some of the units that we'd be getting on each route. I chose Earth route because it sounded like it was all supers, and the space route looked like reels. So we started out with a couple of super units, and it seems like most of our missions involve other supers. But whoever thought we'd be invaded by one? As Chief Maybe has noted, these other world forces possess a culture completely alien to us, and we do not fully understand them. Their weapons are powerful, while the technology, or otherwise, which drives their weaponry is fundamentally different from our own. With no other word to explain their technology of a real moment, we're falling back and calling it magic. Literal magic, huh? On top of all this, we have also confirmed the presence of biological combat units within their ranks that can only be described as monsters. <laughs> Not surprised by my choice. <laughs> yep! <laughs> I'm assuming we'll get the rest of them soon enough. Magic and monsters. It'd be amazing if we weren't the ones at the risk of becoming a monster mash. Uh, in fact, those starred missions, which are the ones that they told us will progress the story, are specifically about getting ready to go to space. So I'm assuming when we go to space, we're going to meet the rest of the units. It, magic and monsters. It'd be amazing if we weren't risk. Yeah, yeah. We have enough trouble dealing with human conflicts, but now we have alien enemies and enemies from other worlds? Well, it makes them for a party, at least. In order to deal with all this, we believe our first goal must be reconnaissance. We need all the information we can get. So what? Is the dry Strucker going to take a plunge down a blue hole? The FF has already sent several unmanned probes into it, but they were crushed within the hole before they managed to reach the other side. No way. Yes, which is why we're going to attempt contact with the other world forces to play to run Alice Springs and gather whatever intel we can. 
another world, huh? Man, I haven't thought about something like that before. Guess the universe is a bigger place than we thought, huh? Yeah, especially after seeing Gridman and Kaiju and everything. I was, it was, uh, I was real shocked when we ran into them, let me tell ya. Yeah, but now we're friends. Perhaps we should think of these other world forces the same way. What do you mean, Kosuke? He means we should try to leave our prejudice and preconception door when approaching. Historically, different cultures meaning often results in war. You know, wouldn't want to perpetuate that. Yeah, I get what you mean. Just like there's aliens who might invade Earth, or other aliens who want to help keep the peace in space. And I think Utsumi is off on a tangent again. I mean, I totally get what you're saying, Koji. But it sounds like they've already made up their minds. Well, maybe they're just scared because they got dragged into a world with no idea what's going on. If it's like that, we might be able to stop fighting if we just talk it out. You're such a kid, Yuta. Things ain't that simple. Whatever, Juzo. You've got the same name as Mr. Saejima, but you know, uh, way more bitter than him. Man, don't compare me to a hot bud and daydreaming cop. One way or another, I think Koji and Yuta have a very good point. I mean, like I said, I agree too. It's just, just don't overthink it. Let's go see these visitors in the blue hole ourselves. Visitors from the blue hole. I hope this doesn't turn out badly. I wonder if these are folks from Knights and Magic. I don't know anything about that series. We'll find out. Hello, new world. Hilt. Hmm. Now what's the problem, boys? You're not gonna beat us by cowering in place. Damn these otherworldly invaders. Our guns are barely putting a dent in them. We have to engage them in melee range. And here comes the charge. It's all that coming from a mile away. Ah, so this is a magic-based attack? I'm so used. If we stay out here, we're just waiting for them to finish us off. Okay. It is from Knights of Magic. Good to know. It's about time we wrap this little game up. Ripping your machines to shreds should show our, your lordlings or whatever we mean business. I get 10. I don't even have 10. Reinforcements? What kind of circus parade are they sending in now? Attention local forces. I'm Commander Mitzvah Gray Valley of the Trihaven EFF Autonomous Corps. We'll be taking over this front. Please retreat immediately. Sorry about this, but they're all yours. So those are the other world forces. They're gr giant knights in armor. They're like the cast of an RPG. I see. Well, that sure helps sell the idea they came from another world. We can't let those crazies just go messing everything up. Wait, Hilma. Let Captain Mitzvah handle things first. Unit Commander, come in. If you can understand this message, I hope you will respond. I'm Commander Mitzvah Gray Valley with the Trihaven EFF Autonomous Corps. I, we would like to request a chance to speak. You want a parlay? Mm, no, thanks. I'm not interested in going through empty motions. They understood us. Is that the power of magic at work? They understood us, but I don't think they care. Real winners take the initiative. In fact, I think I'll take it now. Come on, you lot. Just slide them up. They're attacking us. They aren't ballistic or optical weapons. This is real magic. Cut it out. We just told you we want to talk to you. I guess it's we've got to fight, doesn't it? Seriously, what a bunch of hand-wringing fools. Well, if you want to stand there. You make for nice, easy targets. Captain, we don't have a choice. All units engage. We really want to fight. We can't back down. Uh, all right. Tarantos have unique resistance against attacks. Check their info screen to learn more. That is a very good idea. Her hilt. Interesting. Ooh, she has a base. I like it. And that thing on the back looks like two wands. I'm digging it. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that last name. Woo boy. All right. Night Runner, 4% accuracy and evasion, 3% critical rate, 5% damage dealt. Silhouette Knight, stores 10% of max EN at start of own phase. At 50% or EN or more, reduces damage taken by ranged weapons by 30%. Negates the effect of the direct attack EX action? What? What? Oh. Okay! And burning your energy ain't easy. They negate an EX action! That's... Have we ever run into something like that? I don't think so. All right, so we have to specialize in meleeing them. All 
All right, Ninjato versus Mace. Leap Slash is considered melee. I forgot. Knights in armor using magic. This sounds like something on a fairy tale. Wait until we get to the, uh, <laughs> wait until we get the Flame Knight uh, Ray Earth, uh, part of the story, Oz. One way or another, though, this is reality. I've got to fight, or there'll be a grim fairy tale. Hey, a one shot. Good job. You're a persistent lot, aren't you? I wasn't expecting any group in this world to have this kind of nerve. But we've still got the upper hand. When you forfeited the initiative, you forfeited your lives. We, t we let them take the initiative. Now they're firm control of the battle. I think the machines they're using have some kind of innate resistance to firearms. Sounds like that means we should go in close. But they're way faster than they look. If only we had something drastic, we could turn the tables. Well, too bad for you all. You people will be stepping stones on the path to greater... A magic barrage? Oh, hell. Here I go! Okay. I kind of was just looking for pronouns, I'll be honest. It's Ernie! Uh, that's... I'm not through yet! Hey, not bad. That's some real speed you got there. 20 to fight machine sighted. They resemble the other world's forces machines. Looks like a uh, kid. Ooh. Looks like Zaludek's army are marching wherever it suits them here in this world, too. Is it really a good idea to just attack them like this, though? Good point. We got sucked in a strange hole when we were investigating High Priest Zagato. Zagato? Well, so they're referencing Rayer plot. And the next thing we knew, we were here in a strange land. It's true that we're basically vagrants here. We have no idea what tomorrow will bring in this unknown world, which is precisely why we need to carve a path of our own for, by doing good deeds. Good deeds? When you do good deeds, like-minded doers of good, we gather around you as a matter of course. Like how the Order of the Silver Phoenix came about. Whatever you say, Ernie, I don't care where I am. I'm with you all the way. Why am I not surprised? Not that I object, really. Thank you both, Addy, kid. So how about these guys fighting against Zelda? <laughs> He's like, Mecca. Uh, Ernie? Beautiful! Huh? What an incredibly diverse group of robots! Each easily the match of dozens, if not more! And all lined up right here in front of me in person! It's a truly a super robot army! It's what I've always dreamed of! Hold on! Back it up! I think I've read this manga. If I'm right, this is a manga where the main character gets isekai'd, uh, but he's a huge mecha fan, but he gets isekai'd to a magic world. And then he learns to use their magic to create giant robots. Is that what you're from? I see it clearly now. It must have been fate that led us here to this world. Uh, what is this boy doing? Attention, Commander of the non Zaladet forces. Are you hearing this? Y yes, loud and clear. I'm Ernesti Ecavalier, Knight Commander of the Order of Silver Phoenix of Fram Framavella. Wow, a place in which you would call another world. We've been transported to your world by some sort of accident. The group you're fighting now at the Kingdom of Zelodek is an enemy to us. I propose we unify our forces and get through this together. <laughs> he might. Being transported somewhere new should be an earth shattering event. He's handling it so calmly. What nerves he has. If he's from the manga I think he's from, yeah, he's got experience with being transported to other worlds. I'm Commander Mitzvah Great Valley Trihaven, Earth Federation Autonomous Corps. I accept your proposal, Knight Commander Ernesti. Your assistance is welcome. Understood. I look forward to working with you. I've heard of snap judgments, but don't you think this one is a little rushed? Don't worry, they're definitely good guys. I'm sure of it. Good guys? Please tell me you got some kind of reasoning for that. Of course, I mean, just look at them. 
<laughs> looking straight at the brave units. <laughs> I like this kid. There's no way people controlling robots that cool could possibly be bad guys. Yeah, sound logic, all right. Well, I guess it doesn't matter too much. You're the Knight Commander, so we abide by your decisions. Nice to meet you, everybody. Now then, all units, work with the Order of the Soul Phoenix to engage the other world forces. Uh, the Order of Soul Phoenix just loves to get its nose where it doesn't belong. If I have to deal with you here too, then fine. I use some payback anyway. Personally, I'd love to ask some questions, but I suppose that's not really an option. It's fine. You might learn something confronting them anyway. Yeah, it's our only choice. I couldn't ask for a greater joy in life than joining forces with such incredible robots. Here I come, Zalodak. Doesn't matter where we are. Maya Karuga and I will fight for righteous robots. All right. Who are you? I think they are from that manga I've read. The Sendo. Wow, his air stat sucks. Uh huh. Arcid Alter. Oh, so they just call him Kid. It's Arcid. Got it. Pilot switch. Oh. It enables the pilot switch command, allowing the switching of the main and sub pilot roles. Oh. Missire, uh, Missire Javelin, Javelin, and Charge Tactics. Pilot switch. Now she S on ground, but still C. She has flash. Work Ben Morale. So they're using this mechanic. This is a mechanic we've only seen in like uh, in SR in OG system. If they do a pilot switch, they usually transform the bot too. And that's not the case here. They're just it's the same mech. It's just a different pilot. Okay. And you're a support defend and flash base. And you are support attack base. Okay. I'm excited! Okay! I had no idea I knew this series! Uh, but it's been so long, I can't remember anything except for some big details. Alright, so you're A-ranking pretty much everything but water in the Ikaruga. Computer genius. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! I remember! This is the part in the manga. He uses his computer skills to help program, quote-unquote, the magical, like, runes and stuff he needs to use, and that's what revolutionizes, like, the giant robot fights in there. Uh, against enemy with lower skill, deal 10% damage and 10%, wow, 15% final action invasion, wow! Uh, three morale, receive 20% PP, cool! Okay, twin titan engine, plus 100 EN, recovers 20, 200% of back EN, high speed evasion. Ooh, you're good! Focus and Intuition. Sorted Cannon. Gunfire. Sorted Cannon. He has a map attack? Okay. This kid's good. Let's do this, Addy. With Edgar and the others not here, we've got some big shoes to fill. Protecting the Knight Commander is our job as his adjuant. Let's do our best to keep Ernie safe, kid. Just hold on, Princess Eleonora. Well, uh, I'll come to save you as soon as I can. If I remember from the manga, but this is the right manga, then these two are his adjuants because they all grew up as like poor kids or something. And he's like, and he became super important to their army by revolutionizing the giant robots. And then he was like, uh, by the way, my childhood friends are now my, uh, my assistants. And they both were like, uh... No, we're not. We barely help you with this. And he was like, shut up. You're my assistant. <laughs> you need to be pampered by the same forces that are going to pamper me. My Ikaruga fighting alongside the righteous super robot regiment. Ah, this is the world I've always dreamed of. I could die right now. Except that I won't, don't want to reincarnate in some other world, so I'll survive as long as I can instead. It is! It is the manga I've read! That that clenches it! Let's do this, Ikaruga. We have uh, far more robots to meet. Losing now isn't an option. God, this is a blast from the past. I forgot about this manga entirely. Oh. 
反撃するぞ砲撃で仕留める当たりはしない言ってみたかったセリフです<laughs> He's such a robot fanboy. Yes. Uh, you're gonna not do much damage because they resist you. But as long as you do enough. These unknowns, these other world forces, their appearance now will doubtlessly make things even more chaotic here on Earth. We cannot lose. Our goal shall always be the unification of Earth. And let's weaken one of them. Who needs experience? As needs experience. the upper hand once they showed up. What's wrong, Gridman? Careful, we've got incoming. Ah, it's Kaiju! Kaiju! No way, they came out of nowhere! I detected a reading similar to Akane's, so I came out and seen for myself, but I might as well gauge the strength of Gridman and his companions while I'm here. Captain, the Kaiju army appears to be focused solely on us! Why would they show up now? It's certain the Kaiju don't answer questions, our only choice is to engage them. Well, isn't this just a windfall? The demon beasts have got it in for that group. Looks like the world's got its own demon beasts. They're not quite like ours in our world, though. Agreed, they look more like models of kaiju than the Ultra series. Ultra? Uh, don't mind me. We can fight them and Zalp Duck both. A team up between my Ikaruga and the Super Robot Army. Ah, oh, what a treat this is. Let's do this. I'm ready to combine burning blood with an iron giant to fight for justice. Ernie's really feeling it. Okay. Can you tell why I felt a kinship with this kid when I read his book? <laughs> I'm like, hmm, something about this kid feels familiar. But I wasn't as into Super Robots back then. Okay. The Gridman music, by the way, is really digging into my subconscious. <laughs> it's getting stuck in there. Well, no, it's I paid it for the uh, I paid it for the, uh, the the opportunity to do so since it's part of the expansion. It's part of the DLC is to get that version of the uh, music. So I not not rent free. I paid it to live uh, to live in my head, apparently. One or two more helpful attacks should be enough. Then we can let the night magic folks take it from here. Nah, I don't want you to shoot down. I want Ernie to shoot it down. Oh, he won't with that attack. 
and his other attack isn't strong enough. Okay, you from the villain knockoff horse. I'm gonna put you out of pasture for good. I don't think so. It's payback time for you. Ernie made t it made this end. There's no way you can beat it. Demon of from from, from Villa. Uh, all I have to do is take you out, and everybody will be lining up with praise and fat purses. Truly a classic among classic villain lines. Perfect for something someone my Ikaruga is fighting. Oh, knock it off with the goofing around. I'll shove that half fun and games attitude down your throat. I'm not goofing around in the least. And I'll have you know I'm not half. I'm all fun and games. You little. Here, allow me to provide a demonstration of my Ikaruga is capable of when I give it my all. There's a special arrogance that comes from someone who builds their own battle robot, knows it's one of the best and then no, it's the only one who knows how to pilot it well. This is a special ego that comes from that. <sighs> These guys are nothing like the last group we fought. If they're joined with the Order of the Silver Phoenix, that spells trouble for us. I better get out and report this. That Night Runner there, they're the one who stole the Trandorcus. We lost a chance to get revenge for Edgar. There's Death turned over still at night, and we can go the hands of Krahilt. While Edgar chased out Krahilt, fought Strangles to reclaim it. In the end, he was bested, and she was able to escape the prize. The evaded mechanism of Trandorcus could then be reverse engineered, but improved those strangles. Okay. Let it go, you two. Right now, our priority is our own safety. Now it's kaiju time. Okay. I don't have to worry about you guys being uh, resistant to uh, range attacks. Okay, who needs experience? As still and kid. The ghoul Gilas? Let's find out. Let's get a better look at it. Careful, Addy. The demon beast looks division class size. That's a lot for us to take on. Don't worry, Ernie and I have exterminated plenty of demon beasts. I'll confuse the big ones with the fancy push bar. Uh, let's do this, Tenny. Charge! Uh, Danny, actually, I was planning on doing them, like, a mission or two after this. So, uh, we'll do it next, if you'd like. We just got some night magic units, and I found out that this is from a manga I've read before. Uh, so I'm super excited. God damn it! Of course Ernie made that mech look like that for their pilot seats. Of course you did, Ernie. <laughs> so the main character of Night Magic, Danny, is uh, isekai to a world of magic, even though he's a super robot anime fanatic. Uh, but he learns that he can use programming skills on the magic system there, and he uses it to help him make him giant mechs so that he made the Ikaruga I was never particularly big in the ultra series but I'm familiar enough with the basics what an incredible model I can feel the love from whoever crafted it Charge! Charge! 
<laughs> I like this kid. Yeah, they do have the googly eyes, don't they? Only one more enemy left. Response experience. Kid and J Decker do. Not close enough. Oh well. Huh. You could use experience as well. Do I have anybody who can give you? I don't have any supporter experience, uh, left, but you have game. Okay, let's have someone weaken them then. Something wrong, Gridman? It feels like someone's watching us. You deserve credit for that, Gridman. With these new visitors gracing us, I can expect plenty of entertainment in the near future. The other world forces have retreated, and all kaiju have been destroyed. Order to Silver Phoenix, I thank you for your cooperation. No, thank you. You helped us a great deal. And getting to fight alongside your group is a long-held dream of mine. Oh, um, is that right? I'm honored. I'd like to invite you on board so we can have, uh, go over the situation together, if that's acceptable to you. Absolutely. It'd be on my honor to accept the invitation. Kid, Addy, you're both fine with this, right? Yeah, no objectives here. Your raid was spot on. They don't seem bad at all. Then we better go fill in the chief at Bastion. Uh, at Batson. Uh, they're still waiting where we left them. That is, that is, is technically my second other world. And I have a feeling this place will make my heart stir just like Vela has. Uh, look at all these robots all neatly lined up in the hangar. This is what dreams are made of. Oh, what fortune, what incredible luck. It's like I'm in heaven. Oh, I'm quivering. The hype, it's so much. Uh, I think Arnie's not on either world right now. Our encounter with the rune gods was pretty impressive, but I think this is one takes the cake. They did run into the rune gods. So that means the, those girls must already, Hikaru and them must already have them. He really likes robots, doesn't he? He's just a little kid. He's like a little kid. Say, I've seen that before. Uh, may I speak with you, please? Oh, of course, once again, greetings. My name is Ernestia Cavalier. Uh, I serve the knight, uh, snake commander of the uh, Kingdom of Fremvelias. Fremvelias. Sorry, I'll get that wrong so many times. Order of the Silver Phoenix. I'm Arkid Alter, Vice Commander of the Order. People just call me Kid. 
I'm uh, Adultra uh, Alter, Kid's younger sister. Uh, please, call me Addy. I'm David Hepkin, the Order of Nightsmith Commander. I recognize him, and I recognize both of them, yes! Bats and Termonin. Uh, I work for David and Nightsmiths. If I understand this right, your kingdom of Fermavella is uh, enemies with the kingdom of Zelda. Technically speaking, Fermavilla is an ally to Kushpercha? With Zeladek, you baited. That's how the Silver uh, uh, Phoenix Knights came to investigate Zeladek's activities. We were looking into an odd phenomenon be uh, believed to be the work of Zeladek and his allies when we got whisked here. What kind of odd phenomenon? We believe it to be a gate connecting our world to this one. That must be the other world's side entrance to the Blue Hole. None of this would have happened if Ernie hadn't suggested we investigate that weird hole. We're his vice commanders, you know? If our night commander goes somewhere, it's our job to follow him. Our place is by Ernie's side. That doesn't change no matter what world we're in. Thank you, Addy. It's fine. As long as I can see you smile, all my troubles just melt away. You can tell that the twins really like him. Believe me, you get used to this. The reaction is completely reasonable for Versheimers. I must say, you all seem rather young. Ernie's special. He's a pro at magic. He's really smart. He even designed silhouette knights. Goodness, a real wonder kid, huh? Not really. I'm just a fan of robots. Uh, I mean, silhouette knights. In truth, I used to be just another programmer. Then I died in an accident. Was reincarnated in front of a villa in another world. You know, I was a real mecha geek before. Put my old programming skills to use and designed improved sil silhouette knights. I even built a personal silhouette knight for myself called the Ikaruga. I never told Addy your kid about my past life because frankly, it was irrelevant. I see no reason to bring it up now either. You just traveled to another world. We have people who wish to do the same. Maybe inform us that you have a way to at least transfer consciousness to another world. Not that it was his fault or anything, or he did anything important. It's just, yes, it's relevant. That said, you seem curious about the Trihaven robots, Ernesti. Oh, absolutely. This world is like a dream to me. It's my second other world. And in this one, the Iron Giants that capture my heart are real. Robots are real. And my Ikaruga gets to fly alongside them. Oh, I'm just giddy with anticipation. Uh, Ernie? Nope, he's gone. The soul's left his body and gone to the robots here. Mm-hmm, at any rate, I wanted to thank you for your assistance. About that, actually. I propose that we continue working with you moving forward. Well, that's a generous offer, but you should be aware that our mandate requires us to fight many other enemies beyond the forces from your world. <laughs> yeah, basically. That's not a problem. We'll assist you in those battles as well. Whoa, slow down, Ernie. Don't you think that's going overboard? It's as I said before. We want to carve a path for ourselves. Good deeds are the way to do it. Doing what that is how we've come to know Trihaven in the first place. That's true. If we hadn't chosen to fight Zaladek when we did, we never would have met them at all. Yes, and now I'm certain that continuing on this path is the correct choice. And more to the point, yes. Iron Giants burning with the fires of justice, they do battle against evil forces from another world! I want to be part of their battle! And it all comes back to that. Seriously, I think it's fine. These people seem decent enough. True. And it's not like we have anywhere else to go. Then settle! Thank you for having us, Captain Mitsuba. Thank you for joining us, Ernesti. Please, my friends call me Ernie. I think this will be the start of a beautiful friendship. Keep in mind, like most isekais, adult mind, child body. Just leaving that out there. Since you'll all be collaborators rather than official members, you'll have to dis aggression in choosing whether or not to take part in the operation. Thank you for your consideration, but I fully intend to assist you as much as I can. In that case, I think your silhouette knight will need some overhauls. One of the operational theaters in the Trihaven is outer space. Outer space? What's that? Oh goodness, yes! Silhouette knights in space! Chief Batson, I want you to touch base with the ship's mechanic crew and start overhauling the Ikaruga and the Zendog. Uh, what's a mechanic crew? And seriously, what's this outer space stuff? I'll explain later. Go scratch that. I don't think any amount of time would be adequate for an explanation. Just study the robots on this ship, learn their frames and drive systems, and start incorporating what you learn in the Silhouette Knights. Maybe someday we can make the Ikaruga keep of unassisted interstellar travel. No, wait. First, I would need a dimension jumping function for ease of travel between this world and Frema Villa. But before we get to that, we need to upgrade the Ikaruga more so they can carry its own weight the Super Robot Army. And improving its performance also requires personal growth from me as part of the pilot, namely me. I'll do it. I'll perfect the Ikaruga, a robot crafted by me for me. Uh, just trying to roll with it. This is a regular thing for him. Yeah, we have no idea what he's rambling on about when he gets like that. Ah, uh, yes, I see. He's adapting shockingly well, considering he's just been sent to an entirely new world. Oh, I have my own worries. That, they're pale in comparison to the joy of getting the strength of my partner. 
So the deck, High Priest Sagato, and more enemies are a piece that I have yet to encounter. My Akuruga and the Super Robot Army will trounce you all! <laughs> I like this kid! Alright. Let's get some upgrades into them, shall we? Ikaruga. Uh, I'm gonna start marking people that I know I'm gonna be bringing. Okay, Ikaruga. Definitely a support attack unit. Wow, I'm actually out of PP. All right. Yeah, you missed Ernie absolutely just having a time uh, watching the other, looking at the other super robots. So. Uh, I don't have enough left to upgrade him. Oh well. Give you more sight. Twenty mobility. Okay. All right, emergency charge fully restores EN and plus one morale on top of base morale gain from taking damage. So he gives everybody plus morale plus defense. Then it looks like cool. Any new missions? Okay, so yeah, from beyond this now we're recommended uh, a mysterious dimensional rift. So that's the same as before, though. Here. Yeah, this definitely seems like a good time to assist 3G. Uh, let me just make a, a quick check. Here we go. Some more patrols. It's about build tiger. Shedomaru and Hioma. I just came from there. Okay. Uh, I mean, we'll see. Have J Decker plus Build Tiger plus Gridman destroy 80 enemy units. Okay, so their combined kills have to be 80 for that, for seven officers. Okay. Uh, this one 